this is the capability of this app. In this case, the architectural blueprint was actually generated, which is great. The plan was also stated as well as showcasing the new vitals. This is the capability of our AI code surgeon app that was built thanks to the combination of these two great models powered by an amazing AI coding agent. Recently, I made a video on Gemini 3.0 Pro, the ultimate designer model for building websites and apps in minutes. It's Google's smartest model yet, built for complex reasoning and multimodal tasks. With state-of-the-art coding performance and 1 million token context, it is something that can handle massive code bases with ease and generate beautiful code. And right after the Gemini 3.0 drop, Anthropic fired back with a curveball by launching the Cloud 4.5 Opus, arguably the best coding model in the world right now. This model is a beast for coding, agent workflows, and real coding computing. On top of that, excels at everyday tasks like deep research, document analysis, spreadsheets, and polished slide decks. And the results speak for themselves because it resulted in an 80.9 percentage on the Sway Bench verified test, which is absolutely insane. But here's the interesting part. Even though both Gemini 3.0 Pro and Cloud 4.5 Opus are incredible, each has strengths that the other model can't fully match. The Gemini 3.0 Pro is something that excels with its speed, minimalism, and precise instruction following and fronting capabilities, whereas the Cloud 4.5 Opus is better at full production systems, deeper architecture, and tool calling with its coding capabilities. So how do you get the best out of both worlds? Well, you combine them by pairing Gemini's fast, clean front-end generations with Cloud's deep back-end reasoning and architecture. You create an ultimate dual-engine AI coding system. One model designs and prototypes quickly, while the other builds robust production-ready systems. Together, they produce higher quality apps faster and smarter than either model does alone. But how do you actually create that ultimate AI system? Well, it is with an AI agent that I believe is the best, and that is the Abacus AI desktop agent, which acts as the ultimate bridge, letting Gemini and Claude work together efficiently and effectively to design, build, and launch production-ready apps faster than ever. This is because the Abacus AI Desktop Assistant is something that merges agentic coding, the CLI, the editor, and even desktop interactions in one platform. It is an AI agent that can practically do it all, and it achieves high scores on various benchmarks, surpassing every other coding assistant that showcased on the channel like Claude Code, Codex, and even Warp. This is on different platforms like the Sway Bench Verified, as well as the Terminal Bench, which is pretty impressive on its own. To get started, you need to have an Abacus AI subscription. This is something that you would need to pay $10 per user, which is billed monthly. I believe it is worth it because not only do you get access to this all-in-one AI coding assistant, but you also get access to other suite of tools, a part of Abacus AI, like the Desktop Listener, you get the ability to work with chat LM, which is where you get access to state-of-the-art models in a unified chat. You also get access to the Deep Agent, which is a god-tier general AI agent that will get you automating different sorts of tasks that you wouldn't have been able to without AI. So if you're looking to get started with this, you can obviously go ahead and click on Get Started, or you can go ahead and sign in with the account with Abacus AI. After signing up or logging in, you're going to be then greeted with the main dashboard of Abacus AI. But we're looking to get started with the desktop agent, so you can simply go ahead and download this. And once it has finished downloading, you can then log in and configure the editor with your own preferences. This is essentially how the AI desktop app looks for Abacus AI. I've made multiple videos showcasing demos on how to use it. So you can take a look at it with the links in the description below. But essentially, this is a VS Code clone, and it works really well due to its agentic capabilities. You have a code mode and you have a chat mode. The chat mode is essentially where you can easily use and access the CLI, the code editor, as well as the desktop listener. This is essentially a one-way gateway to access all of the functionalities on one simple area. But to harness the capabilities of both of these models, we're going to be using the Abacus AI desktop agent with this left-hand panel by combining the new Opus 4.5 with the Gemini 3.0. And like I mentioned at the start, to combine these two, we're going to be needing to provide a rule set to our AI agent to follow. 
this is where we're going to be creating the best setup where we use Cloud 4.5 Opus for all the planning and architecture needs because it is best at breaking down tasks, designing the system, and catching issues and thinking long term. Not only will it plan, but the agent is smart enough to follow through with the rules to actually use it in different sprints so that it is something that works with the Gemini 3.0 to help you in different ways. But essentially, we'll use it as the backend system and then the Gemini 3.0 Pro as the code executor because it follows instructions perfectly, writes clean, minimal code, and it can handle front-end UI tasks extremely well. Pod is going to decide what to build and Gemini is going to build it step by step and you can optionally send Gemini's output back to the Claude model for quick review loops. This is going to get you the fastest, cleanest, and most reliable dual model workflow inside Abacus AI's desktop agent. So you can start off by heading over to the Abacus AI settings by clicking on this gear, heading over to rules, and creating a rule. And we're going to name this Opus and Gemini. And we're going to click enter. This is where we're going to provide a description of what our rule set is. And you can add globs and you can even enable it always on. So whenever you're using the desktop agent, it references this rule. So paste in your rule over here so that it can better follow with the execution. This is my current rule that I use with different agents, especially with Abacus AI. And I'm essentially having it follow this workflow to have Cloud 4.5 Opus work on high level planning, system architecture and task decomposition. This is essentially where I'm going to be having it enabled to use the Opus 4.5 uh, high effort thinking mode, and it will be able to thoroughly plan out each component of the plan properly. Then it can switch over to the Gemini 3.0 Pro. This is for step-by-step -step code generation, clean minimal implementation, as well as the front-end UI development. But in certain cases, I am also going to write that if needed, fall back to the Opus 4.5 if it needs to generate code or if it needs better generations for certain areas that Gemini 3.0 might lack. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. So now that we have gotten our rule set fully developed so that our AI agent can follow it, we're going to give a system prompt to develop the plan for that AI app that we're trying to create. This is where I'm trying to create an AI code surgeon. And you're going to be able to see that with this combination, you're going to be able to design beautiful apps and websites quite thoroughly with these two models. And you can see that this is a pretty detailed system prompt that I'm giving my AI agent. And it's not only going to just use my rule, it is going to follow along with my system prompt to help me build out the plan. So this is where I'm creating an AI surgeon app that can help me repair as well as help me refactor code. And right away, you can see that it is viewing the Opus Gemini rule set. So before it starts generating the plan, it will thoroughly understand our rule. And I'll leave this in the description below so that you can potentially use it for your generations as well. This could be improved a lot better. So simply go ahead and tweak it to your own needs. And just like that, we have our technical plan that was generated using the Opus 4.5. And this is the qualitative plan that I was looking for. You can see that this is a really detailed technical plan that has the core features that I'm looking to add to my app, the implementation plan as well, success metrics. You even have a system architecture for the AI coding agent to better follow like the API layer, the client itself, the orchestration services, and the data layer. The API design has been set, and you can just see how thorough it worked on creating this detailed plan for the Gemini agent to follow so that it can create a beautiful coding app. And now we can switch over to the Gemini 3 Pro, and we can give in our next prompt so that it follows through with this implementation. I tweaked the prompt there is a recommendation of a prompt to use where at the bottom it stated this plan is implementation ready begin with phase one and iterate but i simply don't want to use that i want to use a better prompt that will make sure that gemini 3 pro is going to fall through with this so now i can simply go ahead and click send message and now the abacus ai desktop agent is going to autonomously work on implementing this so rather than hand holding it it is going to work on building out the core components of this this can work on building apps, building beautiful websites, 
and a lot more. So this is the ideal coding workflow that I would use with the Abacus AI coding agent. This is the beauty of the Abacus AI desktop agent. It is autonomously working on debugging as well as using the two different models to help us build out all the components. And you can see that it is thoroughly working on each and every component for this app to be functional. And there we go. It looks like our app is fully built. And this is the AI code surgeon app that it was able to develop. This is the front end for it. And you can just see that it did a really great job in building out all the components. I don't know if you notice, but there is animations in the background. This is an autonomous operating system for software repair. And you can initiate the session by clicking on this. This is the AI code surgeon app that it built. And it is something where you can paste in your code. You can have the ability to remove any sort of console logs. You have the ability to convert the arrow functions. And you can even add a header doc. Now to save some time, I simply just provided a surgical uh, goal, which was to improve and increase security for the code over here. And you can see that it has now added an implementation to improve the security. And it also highlights the diff. And in this case, you can go ahead and accept this, but this is the diff. You also have the blueprint, which is having some sort of error right now, which is unfortunate, but the plan that the agent took to implement that, the vitals showcasing the lines of code, the characters, as well as the functions and the estimated complexity of it. There's also a consultation where you can actually chat with your code, and this will get you a better understanding as well as asking questions about the code and how you can improve it. You can download it as well. You can copy the results, but you also have a chief mode. It's pretty cool because the chief mode is going to be using the Gemini 3 Pro. I know it was set to use the Opus model, but I wanted to use it for complex architecture change. And this is where you can even change it to the emergency room. You can see that the animations start to change. It also showcases what model it's using. And this is essentially where it is not a modal, a model change. It's a prompt strategy and UI state change. So the visual red and black is indicating a critical condition theme in the UI. And it's essentially so that the AI writes clean, modern, and readable code in the emergency mode, where it was given a different prompt to apply fixes with minimal code changes. And I specified to not add uh, any sort of refactoring to unrelated parts. So the speed is priority with the emergency mode so that you can get better generation. So if I want to add or improve the performance for this code, I can simply click on hotfix now, and it is going to work on using less thinking and working on refactoring the code faster for the components that I requested. And just like that, it was able to provide a better improved code generation to improve the efficiency of it. This is the capability of this app. In this case, the architectural blueprint was actually generated, which is great. The plan was also stated as well as showcasing the new vitals. This is the capability of our AI code surgeon app that was built thanks to the combination of these two great models powered by an amazing AI coding agent. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on combining the Gemini 3.0 as well as Anthropics Cloud Opus 4.5. And the results as you saw were truly amazing. This is probably one of the best workflows and having it combined with such an amazing AI agent is going to get you top tier results. So let me know what you guys think. Send me comments as well as your thoughts on what you can do to improve the results uh, with the combination of these two models. I'll leave all the links as well as the rule sets in the description below so that you can easily access it to build and develop anything. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. Hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. Subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter. Join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video. And please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.